everyone, so that is me now <clears throat> in my new flat and I'm sorry I've not put up a video for about three weeks now because I've been busy. I got my keys on the 4th, um, which 4th of March, a few weeks back and this house was just a nightmare. It was multicoloured, it was, you know, this room that I'm in, this is red and my bathroom was blue, my kitchen was green and my bedroom was lilac. And the hallway was a horrible terracotta colour. Oh, it was just horrible. But I spent so much time painting and so much time just getting it nice. And now it's pretty. Beautiful. It's pretty now. It's actually looking like a little home. Got, I was so happy. Like The day that I actually got moved in, which was last Sunday, um, I got my carpets down, I got my curtains up, I got all my stuff moved in and it just looked so good. So I'm just happy now. So happy I can finally just relax and just do whatever I want to do. Which has not happened for a while, but yeah. Yeah, of course. They love it. This little one was, I don't know, she was always ill or stressed or something and her coat wasn't nice and now she's so fluffy and happy. And they run about like idiots all over the house and we love it. We really do. So but that has been my life for the past few weeks. It's been painting. I'm like the expert painter now. In fact, no, I'm actually I'm rubbish at painting. I really am. Just not good. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it fine, but I'm not a good painter. I did have some help as well. Um, some people came up and helped me paint. And Especially gloss painting. I hate gloss painting. That is literally like the bane of my existence and I am terrible at it. Terrible. But it's done and I don't have to paint again for quite a while until I move out of this house which is not going to be for a while because I, I do want to just sit and relax. Um, it's good living by myself again as well. Um, I, I slept in today until like 11 o'clock. So I was like, yeah. And I actually plan on doing it tomorrow too. Sleeping late. I sat last night and I sat and had a bottle of Prosecco, which was so, so yummy. I've not had Prosecco in a long time, actually. Um, so it was it was really quite nice just to sit down and relax. And a friend came down as well for some drinks. Well, she didn't drink, I did. And watched a few cartoony movies. I've actually, I've been right into my cartoon movies. Like, I sat and watched. I've literally just finished watching that too, which I love. My next choice is Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs, which is also a really, really good film. Um, so I'm going cartoons this weekend. Cartoons, pyjamas, with other drink as well. I'm going out for a couple of drinks tomorrow night. I don't know what I want to do tonight though, because I've not got anything planned for tonight. And my plan had been to sit all day today and do, no, not nothing, but just relax and have a nice day. Um, and then tonight, do the exact same. So I'm actually, I'm fancying doing something later on tonight though, so I might see if there's... Um, anybody that would like to go out and have some drinks because I got paid I don't think I was getting paid um, well this early I when I started at my new job which is still fantastic by the way I read the handbook yes I read the staff handbook um, but I read that and it said that we were going to get paid on the second last day of the month which in January the second last day of the month was a Sunday so we got paid obviously on the Friday and the second last day of February was 28th of February and um, it actually turns out we get paid on the 28th of every month which is just fantastic which means that because the 28th I think is Monday or whatever, I think it's Monday and it's, it's a bank holiday obviously um, so we got paid yesterday hence why I got my Prosecco and I got pie, I like pie no matter how much I try to diet I will always enjoy pie um, I've got Pringles too and I've ate the entire tub oh, and I've eaten all of them by myself my friend had a little handful as well so it's, it's not just me but they were good but yeah so I got paid so I might actually be able to do stuff on my, my wee four days off this is actually the first time that I've had a day off because even though um, I've had my weekends of course but I've been in here painting at the weekends and I've never had a day yeah, that I've just sat and done nothing. So this is what today is actually meant to be, is for me to be able to just sit down and enjoy a nice little day doing well, not nothing. I plan on I've actually 
I keep getting jigsaws for my Christmas, and I love jigsaw, I really do. But I've not been able to do them because my cats would probably either eat the pieces or run away with them and hide them or destroy it whilst I'm sleeping. But I might be able to do some today. And just hide it from them somehow. I don't know how I'll do that, but I'll hide it somehow. Um, and yeah. So that's such a big child. I'm sitting and I'm going to watch cartoons and do jigsaws all day. But the big jigsaws are like. Oh, my mum got me this one actually for my Christmas a couple of years ago and it is literally a, like a photo of a cupcake um, like you've got the cupcake and a photo and that's the picture and it's all like the same colour and it's extremely difficult actually I would think because it's such a simple simple photo that it would be easy but it's not I've also got like I've got a windmill a really pretty windmill with lots of flowers um, this cat is hairy. I'm paying her and I literally have hair everywhere. I don't know how she does it. I can actually make an entire cat out of how much hair is on this cat. Hey! She jumped on my face this morning to wake me up. Well, she didn't actually wake me up. I woke up with a bloody phone call, which I wasn't too happy about. Um, because I hadn't texted someone back to decided to phone me just to see why I wasn't texting them back. Um, I always text my, my friends and my family back because I hate not getting back to them. They always make me feel guilty for it. But, yeah. So I woke up with that and then I was just lying quite happily, dozing away. And then, boom! Cat on my face. I get all the pussy. But she gets away because she's really cute. Oh, here she comes. Look at her. Hey, Olaf. I'm not allowed to make videos. So I made tea. My cat jumped on me and decided to sit there for a while so I made my tea when she moved. Look, look, I got a uh, Rebecca, crazy cat lady. Do I have my, it's my birthday or my Christmas? It was my Christmas. I got it off my, for my Christmas off my friend Heather. I like tea. It's good. But yeah. Tell me what I was talking about before now. Probably cat. So today I'm th I'm thinking about going to the cinema actually. I've not been to the cinema since I went to see Deadpool. I went to see Deadpool a couple of weeks ago and it was so freaking good. I would actually literally went back and see it again if it wasn't long o'clock at night. It was really, really, really funny. Um probably actually I don't know, it's not one of my favourites, but it was really, really good. I can tell why it's uh, you know, rated as high as it is anyway. Um, I don't get the people that are going crazy at the fact that their kids are now swearing because I've seen dead people swearing or whatever. But, you know, it's rated that because of all the swearings. Why would you want your child to go see it? If you're going to be an idiot and let your child see an over 18 movie, then... Yeah. <coughs> but, um, I actually have to say, my favourite movie out of, like, movies out of all of them is all the origin stories, which uh, that is an origin story as well. Um, which is probably why I enjoyed it so much. I like seeing where they'll come from. I, I don't actually read comics. The only comics I've actually got, I've got some Black um, Widow comics. Black Widow comics. Um, and I, I love those ones, but I've not got any other comics. I'm not a comic -y person. Um, but I do, I love the, the origin stories. They are so, so good. They just tell you so much about the actual character and where they come from and who they are and everything like that. It's fantastic. So, um, yeah, so I probably highlight that one so much too. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's actually in the cinema today. My, my friend went and seen the Batman v Superman movie and apparently it's not that good, or not as good as what I thought it was going to be. Um, because there was just, there wasn't like one story to the whole thing. Everyone had their own wee stories in the movie, so he wasn't, um, I don't really fancy it that much, but I think it would be good to go and watch it. Um. But I don't actually know what else is out at the cinema at the moment because I'm, I'm not a cinema person. Well, I am. I, quite, I love the people going to the cinema. But 
considering how much freaking money it is to go to the cinema to see a movie, it's just it's ridiculous. I have no time. I went to the cinema twice in one day actually to see the same movie. Went to the cinema to see um, Jurassic World, and when I was coming out of the cinema, my sister and my friend Heather, who actually got me that cup, they were going in to see it, so I was like, I'm coming too. I really enjoyed that movie though, um, especially when I seen it the second time because so if you, knew, you knew the storyline then and you could look at all the wee bits of the movie that you probably would have missed because you were too busy following the story. I do like watching our movie a couple of times to be able to do that too. Once you once you you know the story, you love the story, and you go in and you, you find out everything else about what's actually happening in the movie. Um, listen to the soundtrack, listen to just exactly what the characters are saying, try to read between the lines as well. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and then there's movies that I've seen literally just way too many times for it to be normal. Um, one of them being Milan Rouge. Actually, that is my far, far bad just, oh, it's my favourite movie. Love it and pretty much cry every single time I watch it. Um, <laughs> which really goes by saying that should be my favourite, but it is. It really is such a good film. Um, and I love Nicole Kidman. She's just... She's just fantastic. Um, everything about her, especially the fact that she is a redhead. There you go. That makes it even better because she's a redhead. Um, but no, that is such a good film. I've seen that one countless amount of times. Um, the Resident Evil trilogy, trilogy. Resident Evil movies, I've seen them thousands and thousands of times. Um, I've got to say, actually, the score on Afterlife, that is one of my favourite by far. Um, but the whole story, I'm actually terrified of zombies. By the way, that's that. There you go. I'm terrified of zombies, um, but it's, I don't know why that doesn't bother me. Like Resident Evil doesn't bother me. The first one does, but it's really claustrophobic. The first one, um, like you could turn every corner and there's a zombie there, but it's got a storyline set. Like I, I remember watching um, the Dawn of the Dead. Actually, we'll go with that one because that's just probably the most popular. Dawn of the Dead has no specific storyline to it. It's literally just you wake up one day and there's zombies everywhere and you have to get away from them. Um, whereas Resident Evil actually has a proper story behind it of why the, the zombies are there and, and who all the characters are and everything. So, so that's probably why I'm not scared of that one. I enjoy tea. But I have tried to watch other zombie films. I, I, did, I did actually watch the, the Resident Evil yeah, there is an evil. Dawn of the Dead, sorry. And the first time I ever watched it, it wasn't... Probably a few months after it, I woke up one morning and the house, actually similar to the one I'm in just now. Oh. Anyway, the house that I was living at the time was a, a four in a block, um, like four houses in one wee thing, and I was on the top. And um, I walked along the, the corridor because there was the the living room at one end of the house and then walked right along to the other end of the house where the bathroom was. And at that point you passed the stairs down to the uh, the door. And as I was walking along the corridor, I looked down and the door was open and there was a child standing at my fucking door. Oh, I had an absolute heart attack, honestly. And this, I said, it wasn't actually that long after watching The, the Dawn of the Dead. And obviously, it was the remake of The Dawn of the Dead that I seen that time. Um, but at the remake... The, the people wake up and there's a child in their house and it's a zombie and I'm like huh. and I'd oh my god I had nightmares for months after that it was just what had, what had happened is the person I was living with the time had left the door open by accident they just hadn't shut it properly when they went to the shop and the the bear food down the stairs um she noticed and she was opening the door to, to like shout at me to tell me the door was was open <sighs> no I don't think she was too happy with the fact that I told her to fuck off. I didn't actually I didn't tell her to fuck off. I just shouted fuck off because I thought it was a zombie. Um, but it was this little like, nine-year-old child and... Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> and I had that as well, actually. One of my favourite things... Um, at this point, I was playing Black Ops as well, Call of Duty Black Ops. And I played the zombies with a few guys... And we used to just go in and sit and just huff up we giggle whilst playing the zombies. Um, and those zombies didn't bother me either. Even though, there, again, there wasn't any specific story to that part. Um, it was just, I don't know. Um, 
But no, zombies absolutely terrify me. I am absolutely petrified if the zombie apocalypse ever happened. There was actually, I think it was in Miami or something, there was a zombie attack, which was this guy took these drugs and it basically made him like bite someone or something like that. And I, I had been sitting, walked, had a zombie marathon one night. And I went on and, and on my phone the next day, it was the news, and I was like, oh, oh, that's, that's not normal. That's not right. Help. <laughs> yeah. That and werewolves. I'm petrified of werewolves. Although, again, one of my favourite movies is actually Dog Soldiers. Um, which, I, well, werewolves. Um, yeah. That's a great film, though. I love all the actors in that. And it's just, it's so, it's so funny at the same time as actually being, um, obviously, it's a scary movie. For me, it's a scary movie. I'm scared of pretty much everything. Um, Shaun of the Dead, that gave me nightmares for fucking months. That's how bad my fear of zombies are. Um, and then I watched Insidious recently, which is not zombies or that, but oh, I literally never slept for God knows how long. Because I watched it with a friend and then I went home and I, I sat up all night thinking, I'm going to die tonight. There's got to be like ghosts or something in this house. Um, and then not long after, I decided to watch Insidious 2 because, of course, I'm a smart bunny. Which, of course, was just as scary as the first one. Well, for me it was. I don't know about any of yours, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm such a pussy when it comes to me sleeping. Like, the slightest wee noise, I'm like... I'm, I sleep like the dead. Like, I really do. See, when I'm sleeping, that is it. I am I'm gone for the whole night, and I literally not wake up for anything. Um, especially for my alarms in the morning. I actually set about six alarms in the morning, so when I was living with my sister... Um, well, I moved in with my sister and her boyfriend at one point and um, I was in their spare bedroom and whenever I snored, my sister would come through and stay in my, in my bed just to um, get some sleep. But um, my alarms would wake her up super early in the morning, which she did not like whatsoever. Um, but now, actually, I've got a wee lady, old lady that lives down the stairs. And she doesn't sleep very well at night, and I'm really hoping that my alarms don't actually wake her up in the morning because it's um they are loud in the morning, but I, I need them because I just don't wake up for anything in the morning. It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I love a wee flat. I'm so happy being here. I've actually I can finally get all my bloody games consoles back out as well because I was I never really had the time to do it before as well, especially because I was living with someone and. You, you just never get a chance to do anything well, as much as what you want to do. So now I have my, my PlayStation 4, I can get that out and play that, which I'm actually planning on doing that tomorrow. That's going to be my whole plan tomorrow. Um, I can get my PlayStation 2 as well because I've got a lot of games that can be played on the PlayStation 2. Even my PlayStation 1 games as well. <clears throat> also, I want to start playing Final Fantasy 9. I've never played Final Fantasy 9 before and I'm desperate to, to actually play it. 12 as well. Um, I started playing 12 one day but I was really really hung over and ended up just dying for a while instead of actually playing it. So it's two games that I've heard is absolutely fantastic and I really really want to play them, well Final Fantasy games. Um, and I've got all the ones that I have played before, all the games that I've played before that just are so amazing that I want to play them again. Um, Drakengard, I've got that sitting there as well to play. But even better, I can get my Nintendo 64 back out. Um, I don't actually know if it plugs into my big ass TV because there's a big new I got it from my Christmas with my dad and it's freaking massive. I'm chuffed with that TV. Um, but I don't know if it will actually take the aerial for my, my Nintendo 64. I've got a big beast of a TV that's from like 1995 or something like that. But it's currently sitting at my dad's house because when I moved last weekend um, we were trying to do it in two runs all my stuff. So it was quite hard to get everything in. Um, so it was either get the big, big TV or get the big Beastia TV from 1995. So I decided to get the big TV because that would actually, you know, that plugs into everything. Whereas, um, well, apart from everything bar my Nintendo 64. So it's literally just waiting for that TV to come up so I can play that. I might see if it'll work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, but I don't know. We just have to wait and see. And my TV just turned off. When you don't do anything on the TV for so long, it decides just to turn itself off. And that's, no, no, it's not. It's just refreshed. Um, 
I don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not TV smart. Or techno. Well, I am kind of a technology smart. If something breaks, I, I roughly know how to fix it. But when something random happens that I don't know what it is, I just. Mm, no. Nope. Nope. I just can't do it. Anyway, so I'm wanting to get my Nintendo 64 out, which I'm going to see if it plugs into this, and if it doesn't, then I'll just have to wait until the big TV comes. Um, but I can play, I can play my Nintendo 64, I can play Mario, I can play Pokemon Stadium, and with Pokemon Stadium you can actually put like Pokemon Blue, Yellow, and Red into it if you've got the adapters, which I do because I'm awesome. Um, so I'm going to hopefully play that soon because I love like at least once a year I will play through Pokemon. And sadly enough, it does not take me that long to play through Pokemon, because I know it way too well nowadays. I've got this little bit of blonde hair in my head. Where did it go? Not where it is. Oh, oh, oh. See? Random bit of blonde. Um, you know, I'm only 24. I really shouldn't be getting, like, blanks like this. Anyway, um... I'm going to get a computer. Although I've only just bought that PlayStation 4 and I also need to buy a new mattress and I also need a washing machine because my washing machine that I had has been sitting in my mum's garden shed for nearly two years now so it's, it doesn't work and I don't know why it doesn't work. It just keeps flashing lights at me when it tries to drain and I just don't know what's happening. So I need to get a new washing machine but a new computer would be better because I can play games on it. You can download so many games. And when I moved out um, from the place I was living, it wasn't my computer I was using. So I don't actually have any of the games I was playing on the computer before. Um, like Abe. I've not got Abe's anymore, which is really, really quite... Uh, got on, because I was really, really wanting to play that again. Um, however, uh, my little brother had a Wii. And he didn't play it, ever. And he's got like tons and tons and tons of games for it. And so my mum says to me, here, just... Take, cause that, like, cause I was moving. She said, "Just take that, just give it to EB or something like that. Just, just get rid of it." But I thought, we actually just play it for a while. <laughs> um, and he's got a, a, a Nintendo DS as well. Now I've not had a DS for years because, well, I never actually had one. It was always my brother's that I used. And my sister took it for a while because she was playing. I think she was always playing one of the Pokemon games, the newer ones. Um, but she's not playing it anymore. So I might be able to get that, because I've actually got a game, I've got a DS game in there somewhere. It's Spyro. And I can remember when me and my sister were younger, we first got um, the Game Boy Advance. And I got Spyro on that. And, oh, I loved it. I, I really do enjoy Spyro, actually, because I used to play on the, the Playstations as well. But I really, really want to give it a go on the DS. Because I've got it there, I don't know why I've bought it. Maybe I didn't buy it, maybe it was someone else's. I don't know why it's there, but it is there. Oh no, I did buy it. Um, my ex from years ago had a DS, and I bought that to play it, and then he buggered off the DS. Yeah, well, he didn't bugger off the DS. It was his DS, but anyway, um, he never played it. I used to play it all the time. Um, brain training. I used to actually come home from work and do brain training. But it was actually, it was always so much fun um, being, able to, <laughs> being able to cheat it into thinking that you were younger than you actually were. <laughs> or to be able to get it because I wouldn't I think the, the youngest age that you could get on brain training was 21 and at the time I was only like 18 um, we're being invaded again good night mm -hmm. she's a wee cheeky bugger this one actually she's getting oh she's just so much more happier here Um. I don't know why, she's just so much happier. But now she's getting more hyper and she's playing a lot more, which is again fantastic. But she has destroyed every single straw that I own. They hate, well they don't hate straws, they just love playing with them. Which means that whenever I have a straw in my drink, which I have at least one, well, I have one martini every night after work. I sometimes do. But I always have one because that signifies that's my, the end of my day and I like that part of my day. But they always steal my straws and run away with them. 
Yay. I made them a box. Well, I didn't make them a box. I had I had bought all these little boxes for when I was moving the first time. And um, they, they kept on trying to play with all the Christmas presents at Christmas there. But the, um, all the ribbons and things. So I decided I would make them a box that had lots and lots of ribbons in it. But now there is like nothing left of the box. Hold on. There we go. There's little bits of ribbons. And there's little bits of ribbons because I kept finding like shreds of it everywhere because I just kept destroying them all. But it's like the light boxes are actually both looking at me just now and saying, who the hell are you talking to? Um, they always give me this look as if I'm doing something wrong. Like my, my little cat Lulu, who's currently in her bed. Hold on, hold on. How cute is she? But anyway, she was sitting last night and I was sitting having a wee giggle with my friend Laurie. And we were having a wee bit of a bitch and moaning about it, like everything, like you do with your friends. And um, Lulu came up and she was just giving me this look like, what are you talking about, Mum? You shouldn't be talking about this. But anyway, I've got a, a photo. When I was moving, my mum showed me this photo from my mum. Was it my mum? I don't know. But anyway, how cute is this? This is me and my sister's children. That's my sister. And that's me. Look at me. My mum had that haircut for me for God knows how long. Look at the fringe. Same person. I've actually I've only got a photo of me and my sister and a photo of um, my, my grandparents on my dad's side. I don't have any, I did have a photo of my brother. I have no idea who it is. I've actually I've got a photo album that I got for my 18th birthday. And it was my sister that done it for me. She got like all these little photos from when we were babies and things. And she put it all together and it was so, so nice. Um, and I found it when I was moving again because it was hidden in the box. It wasn't hidden in the box. But it was put in a box away from everything. Um, and I've only just found it again. So it was really, really, I really enjoyed having me look through that again. Hold on. I've not quite finished my cup of tea yet. But no, I love my little house. The only problem with it at the moment as I've got a loft, but I don't have a loft hatch, like the door for the, for the loft. So when I walk under it, it's like, someone's got to grab me. And I was up there painting one day as well, and I could just, all I could see was like, oh, there's a bit of paper that's up there somewhere. And it, just, it must be like, just instructions on how to use the, the water tank up there or something. Um, and honestly, every time you just walk past it, it looks like a face. And of course, me with my, I, I do, I love horror movies. I love sitting and watching horror movies, but they absolutely terrify me. Um, and yeah, so I can't watch horror movies right now because I'll just end up like having a total freak ass panic attack thinking I'm going to get grabbed from the head. Anyway, I think I've talked enough about just shy again, as per usual, just talking rubbish. So I am going to get away. And I'm going to continue watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs if I can figure out my bloody TV. And I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will hopefully actually get more videos, videos up now that I'm by myself as well and I'll have more time to be able to do it. I really do hope that I'll be able to get more up. So anyway, have a good weekend. A long weekend as well. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye!